took me 10 months to learn the front lever pull-up and I want to share how I learned it. So if you have a couple minutes, sit back and relax. Several years ago, if you could do a regular front lever, you would be considered pretty good at calisthenics. But now it's just like the front lever seems like such an entry level skill because first of all, people are learning the front lever like in swarms. The second thing is that a lot of people are doing way harder elements than the front lever. So the front lever doesn't even feel that hard anymore. It's not even considered intermediate in a lot of uh, calisthenics people's minds. I didn't like the idea of being associated with the beginner title after like three years of training. So I decided to try to learn the front lever pull up. So when I first incorporated front lever pull ups into my routine, I only really started with several sets of a tuck front lever pull up. This was once per week. This is because my goals at the time were one, to get better at the regular front lever and two, to work on my chin ups. At the time, even in the tuck front lever pull up, I wasn't that strong because my false grip was uh, lacking. So what I did was I added false grip dead hangs to the end of all my upper body workouts for two to three sets of 30 to 45 seconds. This exercise is super helpful because a strong false grip makes the front lever pull up easier. And I still do these to this day. After a month of doing this routine, I injured my lower back. This made it so I could no longer train the regular front lever. So I decided to focus on weighted chin ups and banded rows as my main pulling goals while maintaining my front lever pull up level by training it once a week. Several weeks into this new routine, I was feeling good. I was breaking PRs in weighted chin ups, front lever pull ups, and oh yeah, I injured my rotator cuff. Two injuries, two months in a row. How could it get any worse? I got sick. Anyways, I spent the next month rehabbing my shoulder and lower back while focusing on body weight pull-ups and rows. It took me two weeks before I felt comfortable enough to do front lever pull-up attempts again. My next mesocycle, I was a changed man. My lower back and shoulders were feeling better and I was ready to get strong again. So I started training weighted pull-ups as my main pulling goal and front lever pull-ups as my secondary pulling goal. For my weighted pull-up, I copied I mean, I took inspiration from Dominic Sky's pull-up program and I started with three sets of three with 100 pounds. For front lever pull-ups, I did tuck front lever pull-ups two times per week, and I did straddle front lever pull-ups one time per week. I continued this for two months, and I got pretty strong. My weighted pull-up went from three sets of three with 100 pounds to three sets of three with 135 pounds, and my straddle front lever pull-ups got a lot cleaner. I was finally hitting the bar consistently, although I was still using a lot of momentum. At this point, I was pretty comfortable with my weighted pull-up and I decided to focus more on the front lever elements. So I took a step back and I asked myself, what should I do if I want to get a good front lever pull-up? Two things. One, lose weight. I weighed 173 pounds at the time, which is like I was fat. Losing weight would make it easier for me to do front lever because by losing weight, the amount of resistance I have to fight against is going to be less. The second thing I needed to do was train the touch front lever. So at the time, my front lever pull-ups were using a lot of momentum from the bottom to reach the top, and it didn't like feel like very clean to me. In order to like use less momentum, I needed to get strong at the top range of motion of that movement. So I took these two things in mind and made yet another new program, and I followed it for two months. In hindsight, this program was good and trash. It was good because I was able to unlock the straddle front lever touch, get to seven front lever presses, and unlock the one arm pull up. However, it was also bad because I overestimated my ability to resist fatigue. So imagine this, I was losing weight, doing cardio, training two front lever exercises, and doing heavy accessory work at the same time. This kind of just made it so I didn't really recover sufficiently between workouts and I couldn't perform at a high level. I would get so tired that I had to deload after three weeks of training. So I once again made a new program, this time only focusing on front lever pull-ups and chin-ups. It's only been two, maybe three weeks, but I've made some pretty good progress in my front lever pull-up. 
I've gotten some of my most solid reps yet, which I would kind of like, I'd basically count it at this point as having unlocked the skill. But I think I kind of screwed up again so far. So like, <laughs> I keep making mistakes with these programs, but with my current program, I'm doing two sets of chin-ups to failure after like my, you know, like five sets of front lever. The problem with going to failure and like kind of maxing out on chin-ups, I think I realize is one, I'm also training the planche, right? So like stressing out the biceps a lot by maxing out on chin-ups might not be the best idea. And two, I'm kind of trying to mix strength and endurance, right? Front lever pull-ups are strength and chin-ups are for me kind of endurance. It's kind of difficult to balance strength and endurance well. Yeah, so what I think I might do instead is just do straight sets and not necessarily go that close to failure, just try to slowly accumulate volume in a way that allows me to make progress in chin-ups but doesn't get in the way of my main goals, which are the front lever pull-up and planche. To be honest, like I've been training this stuff for close to four years now and you might be thinking, right, like Jimmy, you don't sound that happy that you learned this skill. I've just been through so many ups and downs with this like training has become such a part of my life that like I don't really like celebrate like learning new skills anymore it's just like I learned it what do we do now feel free to drop a comment uh, about your experience training for the front lever pull up and yeah have a great rest of your day